Hey there, Almighty Bell here from the Juggernaut Training System. So I've had a lot of my people comment and message me, what, asking me what my thoughts was on the Liver King being exposed for being a fake natty. So I figured I would drop my two cents in here. Um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Brandon Bell. I'm the owner operator of Juggernaut Training System here in a small town. I'm a, I've got my strength and conditioning certification. I'm currently working on my master's in training. Um, well, my input on this is, is that if the man is shining direct sunlight and helping with positivity through the fitness industry, whether he be a fake natty or not, I see no wrong in that. Uh, if somebody is saying they're doing something when they're really not doing it, but in the, ultimately in the long run, in the, in the gist of things, that people are living a better life, they're li eating healthier, they're doing better things, thinking that they will achieve the same fitness goals or you know mindset, whatever the ancestral thing is that he has going on, I see it all wrong in that. Now, I, what I do see wrong is giving body, everybody false hope and accusation that, uh, you know, thinking that they will look exactly like him by saying that you're natty. Now, that is wrong. That is manipulating people into thinking that, hey, you want to look like me? Then take my supplements. I'm all natural. If you take this, you'll look like me. Now, that is wrong, and I agree with the aspect of that as you know, uh, anybody I would, as anybody who's a good trainer would want to put out there saying that, you know, you always want to be, have 100% transparency with your clients to let them know what their, you know, overall goal is, what they think, what, what they're wanting versus the aspect of what, you know, they can actually achieve. Any kind of trainer should be like that. But ultimately, if a person's saying, oh, okay, I want to look like him, I'm going to take this and take that, and they changed how they eat, how they live their life, how they sleep, and it ultimately ended up being leading to them having more success in their life, if they, whether they uh, got stronger, or they've lost weight, or they've run harder, or the, you know, the relationship with their wife, or their significant other got better, the relationships with their family got better, you know, ultimately, if anything and everything, you know, shine a brighter, brighter light on their life, then I don't see what it matters. Um, but yeah, the man shouldn't have lied, but ultimately if he's, if he's giving people hope and he's call, he's actually making people's lives better in the long run, I don't see what it matters. Everybody's got all this hype about, oh, he lied this and he lied that. Okay, if you follow him and you actually thought he was natural, then you obviously have no um, education in the fitness industry because about 95% of all your fluence in fi uh, your fluence in uh, fitness influencers are not natural that's just how it is and a lot of these the Joe Schmo people are the average people of the world that want to look a certain way and do a certain thing thinking that they can take this or do this program exactly to the T and eat just like this person and achieve the same goals then they're just they're just kidding themselves because a lot of them can't do it. Now, if I say now if, if you try to follow my program and I were to tell you that hey, this is exactly how you're going to do. This is the achievable goals for your genetics. You know, and everybody's genetics is differently. You know, this person A and person B could do the same exact thing, eat the same way, but they would have ultimately they have a different results because based on their genetics. Now, I wouldn't lead to somebody say that, okay, you can do this, this, and this without taking this, this, and this. Ultimately, that's what I, that's how I do things. But if the Liver King said, so, said one thing and a lot of people followed him and they ended up having, being more prosperous in their life because of the fact that, that they changed their lifestyle to try to fit that genre of whatever that, you know, whatever he's preaching, I say more power to them. I'd say the man did nothing wrong besides give people a, you know, a false hope of looking a certain way, but and ultimately in the long run, if he helped their life and made them more, made their life more beneficial because of, of the lie, who, all, who of us has not told a white lie? Who of us had, had, had a friend come to you and say, hey, don't want to look, and you don't want to, you know, lie to him and hurt the feelings, so you say, you look great, you know? You think I can look like this? Yeah, you can look like that, you know what I mean? Don't tell them to be chiseled and ripped and it's, you know, like the ultimate lie to like to a bold face lie to them. But all of us, have, all of us have told a white lie. But ultimately, that's my my take on the fit uh, on the liver king being exposed. There's so much hype about it. And, and in the long run, if the man is helping people to better their lives and, you know, shining a brighter light on them and he's not dragging anybody down, let the man do his thing. You know what I mean? 
him doing whatever he's doing is not affecting anybody else. You know, unless they're really wanting to have the same physique as him. I mean, if you're looking for that, uh, most people who are serious in the fitness industry or serious with physical education or fit serious in the gym working out seriously, they'll know that you can't achieve that without PEDs. There's, certain, there's a certain level of physical fitness that you cannot achieve without PEDs, depending on your genetics, of course. If you all enjoyed this video and you thought it was very informative, please subscribe. Please hit that bell notification so you can be notified whenever I upload all my tips and tricks on how to lose weight, get strong, and stay fit all year round. Until next time.